Hey y'all, welcome back to another 642 Tiny Things to Draw update. Our first doodle is a glass strand on a chandelier and I was putting this drawing off for quite a while because I don't know how to do glass. I decided on drawing some geometric shapes and had them cut like a diamond and then did all of the base shading in graphite. Then came back with the pink and blue colored pencil and colored in the shaded side with blue and the lighter side with pink. For the background, I scribbled down some pink and blue grabby acrylic paint marker and didn't let it dry in between the colors. So I kind of like blended together on the edges and got me this very nice tie-dye bubblegum looking pattern. I think it's cute. I outlined everything with a white acrylic marker and then added some random little dots around the edges of the shapes because I think that's cute. Here's the completed dude. Next up, we have gold dust. I decided to go with a pile of gold dust because I thought that would be easier to draw. So here I am with a mechanical pencil drawing in the creases in the powder and adding a little bit of shading behind those creases. That way, when I come in with the yellow colored pencils, the graphite will smear and I will already have the shading mixed in with the colored pencil. When the base coloring was done, I came in with a bright yellow, a dark yellow, and a gold grabby acrylic paint marker and stippled over the whole thing to get that powder or dust-like texture. And I tried to match the colors with the shadows, so bright yellow was the highlight, gold was the shadow dark yellow was the mid-tone and then i also came in with a white marker to add a little bit more highlight and it gets all shiny when it catches the light so here is a video of that going in and out of shimmer i think this is so pretty and here's a still image next up we have the little dipper and i decided to bring out the paints for this mostly because my sister gave me a palette of paint that is very quickly drying out and i wanted to use it before it went bad so i mixed blue and black for a night sky then i used a yellow acrylic marker to draw in the stars in the shape of the little dipper and here it is all done i am quite happy with how this galaxy print turned out next is the first second of january so obviously i am doing fireworks to get the splatter for the night sky galaxy print i got a lot of paint at the tip of the grabby acrylic paint marker and then blew on it it took a couple tries but we got there and using those same grabby acrylic paint markers i'm drawing in the fireworks i'm making these burst shapes using quick dash lines then with the black acrylic marker i scribbled in the foreground made some hills and trees i think this one came out really cute here it is all finished and next up we have a sliver of moon there are so many night skies in this update anyway i had decided to go a little dream like surrealist kind of with this one this doodle is entirely done with paint markers so here we have a crescent moon with an eye above it that i filled in with silver and now for the glow i'm putting down some yellow around the perimeter and then dragging it outward before it dries so you get this smudge now with a white marker i'm adding some details like the eyelashes to the eye and some beads and stars hanging down from the moon and lastly i'm adding some suggested mountains to fill this bottom space here by drawing a line of white and smudging it diagonally to the side so it looks like a highlighted edge here it is all finished and for the last doodle, we have a splinter and a thumb. I decided to use watercolors with this one because I felt like it. Here I am using red watercolor to blot around where the splinter is to get that irritation. And here's where I messed up because my dumbass accidentally centered the entire splinter around the red irritation instead of only centering the base of the irritation, like where it's stuck under the skin. I wasn't able to fix that, but whatever. Here I am outlining in Micron. Then to shade and blush, I used a light brown and a light pink Artist Loft colored pencil. And I did try to go over the base of the splinter with a white colored pencil to make it look like it's actually under the skin. I thought that would dull the micron a bit, but it didn't work at all. There is no difference. And lastly, to fill in the negative space in the background, I scribbled in some triangles with Micron. And here is the hand position that I was going for. I know it looks kind of weird in the sketch, but anyway, here it is all finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the description box for my link tree. If you would like to see more of me, click that link, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!